धन धन सदगुरु तेरा ही आसरा हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर कंप्यूटर टीचर रोहिन इंसा आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी सेफ एट योर रिस्पेक्टिव होम्स एंड फॉलोइंग द लॉकडाउन प्रॉपरली सो स्टूडेंट्स कीप फॉलोइंग द लॉकडाउन प्रॉपरली फॉर योर सेफ्टी टुडे वी गोन डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ नेटवर्किंग कंसेप्ट एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी रिसीव द स्क्रीन शॉट्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर after reading them all of you have already some background knowledge of this topic in your mind so today we are going to discuss this topic of networking concepts via this video dear students this is just a book based video of this chapter we will also give graphic based video of this chapter very soon so let's start the topic so students we use many examples of network around our day to day life for example rail network atm networks mobile networks and students we know the importance of mobile network we know today we can't live without mobiles we can't imagine our life without mobiles and uh, at the same moment at this moment you are studying through mobiles using mobile network so you can understand how much important it is when we talk about network every network has many components for example a mobile network for a mobile network we need a mobile electromagnetic waves as a medium to transmit our voice and an antenna and uh, for railway network we need railway tracks trains and stations so students every network has many components and also types similarly there is a computer network which we can define as a group of computers and other peripheral devices linked together for the purpose of sharing data and hardware resources so we use computer networks for sending files and sharing many devices like printers and we connect these computers with each other via telephone lines or hub or through some other medium so you can see this in in this picture that we have connected our pcs and printers through a hub there is a central hub in this picture you can see so this is the hub i will point it out this is the hub and these are the mediums okay these are the wires or we can also use wifi for connecting the devices so students every network has component so in computer network we have hub wires and computers and sometimes we also have other peripheral devices like in this picture we can see printer printer is a peripheral device so we go back to our book so you can see this in in this picture there are three computers which are connected with each other using a hub and one computer has attached printer to it so all other computers can share this printer via this network and this network is connected with each other and these computers are connected with e each other through a hub so hub here hub is the main device which is connecting these computers so here is this hub this hub is connecting all these three computers and dear students these computers these computers computer a computer c computer b these are called nodes nodes of the network so rather than calling them computers we can call them nodes so till now you have got the topic you have uh, you have got knowledge that for every network rather it is a whether it is a 
रेल नेटवर्क और मोबाइल नेटवर्क और ए कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एवरी नेटवर्क हैज़ कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस इट लेटर इन डिटेल इन लेटर टॉपिक्स सो फॉर नाउ लेट्स गो टू द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ नेटवर्किंग सो वट आर द मेन एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द नेटवर्किंग सो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट एडवांटेज इज एफिशेंट यूज ऑफ स्टोरेज मीडियम एफिशेंट यूज ऑफ स्टोरेज मीडियम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज बैटर टू इंस्टॉल वन कॉपी ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन मेन कंप्यूटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी गो बैक टू आवर प्रीवियस पिक्चर इफ कंप्यूटर सी इफ दिस कंप्यूटर सी इज आवर मेन कंप्यूटर देन वी विल इंस्टॉल ऑल द सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन दिस कंप्यूटर एंड अदर कंप्यूटर्स विल यूज दिस कंप्यूटर टू यूज दैट सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन इंस्टॉल एम एस ऑफिस ऑन दिस मेन कंप्यूटर विच इज कंप्यूटर सी एंड अदर कंप्यूटर्स कैन शेयर दिस सॉफ्टवेयर यूजिंग द हब विच इज कनेक्टिंग दिस कंप्यूटर्स सो हेयर कंप्यूटर सी इज अ मेन कंप्यूटर विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सर्वर एंड वट इज द नेक्स्ट एडवांटेज नेक्स्ट एडवांटेज इज preserving information so dear students if data is stored on a single pc if we go back to our this picture again if we store the data on a single pc this single pc c so it will be easy to take regular backup of data from this single main computer rather than taking backup of each other computer so we will take backup only of this computer rather than taking backup of other computers so it is easy easy to save data easy to preserve data use with the help of networking number 3 what is the number 3 main advantage of using network reduction in hardware cost with the help of uh, computer network we can also reduce our hardware cost how let's go back to the previous picture in this picture we can see we have three pcs pc a b and c and pc c which is our main pc has a printer attached to it so we have three computers we can buy only one computer sorry one printer and attach that printer to the main computer which is computer c and other pcs can share this printer for printing so in this case we don't need to buy three computers sorry three printers so networking is saving our money we will need to only buy one printer rather than buying three printers so we are using only one printer which is also saving our hardware cost so next advantage of networking is efficiency so when we use networking we need to upgrade the software like you upgrade or update your apps in your android mobiles we also need to update software in our pc so rather than modifying that software on each computer we can install that software on this main pc which is computer c and that software will be automatically updated on other computers computer a and computer b so it is saving our time we are efficiently using the network by saving our time next is redundancy rather than saving data on every computer we will only save data on our this main pc for example here main pc is computer c so we will save data only on this main computer c rather than saving the data on this computer as well as on this computer so this will save redundancy and what is the redundancy redundancy mean duplicacy of data rather than keeping data on multiple computers we are keeping the data only on single computer so in that way we are 
reducing the redundancy redundancy means duplication of data duplication of data so what is the next next advantage quickest document delivery so now we are using networking so we can instantly send our files from one computer to another computer you know we for example if computer a this computer a wants to send the file to computer c then it can quickly send the file from computer a to computer c or other computer b so this is the next this is the main advantage these were the main advantages of using networks so guys this was the topic we were discussing today networking concepts so this was the just this was just the first part of this video we will make more two parts of this video book based video and we will also make another graphic based video we will share link of that video here in group so guys thank you for watching the video